Welcome back, everybody. We're getting a match started here. It's time to lock down some more slivers on MTGO. We won the die roll. And it looks like we've got a very keepable hand here. I like it. So let's roll this on down. And uh, we'll go ahead and play out our Sidewinder. And we'll see what we're up against here. Back to you, Cadaverci. 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 An Italian player. I don't know if that's it. Italian. I'm just guessing. Oh no, not red again. We just went up against Model Red Aggro. Don't tell me this is burn. Waiting to pay the costs. What you got? Oh, maybe this is Goblins. Or maybe this is Model Red Aggro again, just another opponent. <laughs> Alright, well, we get a Benevolent Bodyguard, which is excellent. If we had another one drop, I would totally be down to play him, but we're just going to drop the Lord and uh, keep uh, attacking in here for now. Good old flanking. This song right here that we're listening to, I used to work at Quick Alones and I would just have this like, just random music playing and this is just like, it'd be on all day, all day. Guess they don't know what flanking is, that sucks for them. Unless they really want to hang on to their life total. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get this good Mog out of the battlefield, which is nice. They're now realizing what's about to happen. But yeah, this song right here. All the time. All day. Hilarious. This song's embedded into my head for the rest of my life. All right, let's see if they go for some removal or if they go for a creature. Looks like they're be gonna be going for some removal, so I'm gonna try to play this out and hope that we can get it down before they eliminate something. If not, we'll just start uh, dropping some poisonous on them. Come on. Let it happen. Let it happen. No. Okay, that's what I figured. Oh, but they're taking out my flanking. Probably not a bad uh, choice, honestly. If they're, uh, if we are playing goblins, it's not a bad choice. But it looks like they're just going to go for the double hit here. Fair enough. That's okay. We can recover. Not getting any for any damage, but that's... Uh, that's fine. We took two lightning bolts out of their hand. I'm sure they're feeling pretty happy, but we're about to drop another Lord next turn and get him for some good damage. Unless they got a 2 2 creature coming out, and then we just uh, will have to pass the turn back to them, basically. Corhort, Corhort, Corhort. Can't say that. Oh, man, this was in the mono red aggro that we were just up against that conceded early on uh, the Wednesday video. Ooh, that's nice. I'm gonna play this out so we can attack in here at least with the Viberlin. Now, next turn, it'd be nice if we could draw into a planes. 
Drop our sentinel and our plated. Just empty our hand out a little bit. Let's see what they do. They still got five cards in hand. So they're holding on to some stuff. I don't know what we're up against, really. Maybe this is just another, the mo uh, uh, another mono red aggro, because I feel like goblins should be popping off faster than this. They're a fast deck, and this just seems to be going really slow. Although, we clearly are going up against a, a newbie since they didn't know what the flanking was, so... <clears throat> what you got for me? Bushwhacker. Alright, that's definitely goblins then. That's definitely something we'll journey if we need to. Hmm. We'll drop the Lord. They might have another piece of removal in their hand, but we've got the Benevolent Bodyguard to back us up a little bit. We are going to attack in. And if they want to double block something... We can always uh, benevolent bodyguard and just take him out. Looks like they're just going to take. Let's see what happens this turn. If we can get to back to our turn. The ideal draw for next turn would be like a Vines of the Vastwood. We play Plated Sliver, we have protection with Benevolent Bodyguard, and we have extra protection with Vines of the Vastwood, and we've got a great board, everything's out of range of Lightning Bolt. We'd be looking good. Let's see what they play. Goblin grenade. Sure. Well, we're gonna go ahead and just give protection to something here. Take out my other lord. Didn't really work out how you wanted. Don't know what you were expecting there. If you didn't have another piece of removal to back that up. This is a new player. Let's see what they do here. All right, another goblin grenade. Well, sure, they take out their board and we still have two creatures up. I'm totally fine with that. I don't know, they're getting desperate, I guess? I really don't know here. All right. Well. Can't get them out of range of lightning bolt. So I think we're just going to play the sentinel. Get everything having vigilance here. They've got no creatures, so we can wait on the flanking and stuff till next turn. Mm -hmm. 
Three cards in hand. Three mana on the board. We've been stuck at two. Again, drawn into another planes would be nice here. Almost have lethal on board. Almost. One more Lord will do it. Or another Poisonous, even. Okay, sure. You can have your cohort. Man, Goblin should be popping off, man. They're going so slow. Alright, another Lord. Yeah, we'll drop the Lord. Got another piece of removal. What do you have for me? You kind of have to here. No. All right. Pass it back. I'll attack in. Let's do this. All right, game two. Fair enough. Uh, Sun Lance is good. Let's see. Spinneret can be taken out. I think. I think we might run this the same way as we did the mono red aggro. Put in an armadillo cloak and keep the rest. That was pretty, it worked pretty cleanly for Mono Red Aggro last, uh, last game, so let's uh, try like this again. Is it just me or has Gutshot been getting weaker? I have consistently been not seeing it as a useful cyborg card recently. As of late, it just seems like everybody's running cards that are just two toughness or, or more and you can't seem to get it I haven't play, been really playing the decks that play the one toughness creatures but all the decks I've been seeing just it hasn't been super useful against yet I don't think I'd get rid of it out of the sideboard at this point but just something I've been noticing lately with all the all the games I've been playing it just hasn't seemed to have been as relevant as I think it used to be in the past they've been making popper cards more powerful really more of these common cards have two toughness now. All right. What are you going to bring in against us, Gobbies? I need something to replace Apostle's Blessing. I just That's a card I'm not using either. They are taking their time. That's all right. There we go. This song too. This song that's playing. This, this is like the same song pretty much, but I've heard this one so much. Uh, it's not the best hand. We can play a lot of our stuff, and we can cycle. So. I think we'll keep, but I'm not loving this at all. I'm really not. Mm. We can cycle, we can play Sidewinder, Benevolent, and our Sunlands, but... Alright, we'll keep, we'll keep. We're gonna cycle first, we're just gonna wait. Well, we'll see what we get here. Oh, well, we get another Sidewinder. That'll come in useful here. Uh, but we're just gonna pass to them and cycle this secluded steep. OK, 
Okay, getting hit for four. Time to cycle. Other planes. <laughs> Not exactly what we're looking for here. Um. <laughs> I think. Definitely gonna play Benevolent, and I want to say we'll put out a Sidewinder here. But maybe we should just Sunlance the Mud Brawler. Might do that actually, just Sunlance him. Hmm. It's a toss up. I, I don't really know what the best move is here. Do I put out a Sidewinder or do I Sunlance? Because if I don't Sunlance now. Hmm. He could get big too, honestly. I guess we'll play our Sidewinder. I don't really know what the best uh, move here is. Let's see what they do. If they drop a couple creatures... Uh, and this guy gets pumped a couple times. Uh, I may just uh, block and sacrifice Benevolent to give him protection and take him out. That's a line. Alright, he's lightning this guy, so we're gonna go ahead and sack him. Just passing. Waited, huh? Alright. Well. Let's get another flanking going. And we'll get a plated. And then we'll attack in. Or do we just pass here? Might have wanted to have Sunlanced first, because my, my end goal here was to Sunlance one of their creatures, but now I'm thinking if they've got a removal, they can take out one of our guys and then double block, get the kill. Yeah, so I might have messed that up. Oh, do they have another piece of removal? They got two mana up, they didn't play anything else. Hmm. I guess I messed that up, so I'm just gonna wait and, uh, some Lancer cohort. cohort. I should have uh, Sunlanced first and then uh, 
and then done it. But maybe they didn't have the removal anyways. They just got another land. So chain lightning, so. But that's sorcery speed. No, you don't. Can't pay that. Yeah, so I messed that line up. Well, they, I don't know if they drew into that or not, but they did have the removal there, so. What else you got? One card left. Okay, passing to me. Finally, we get something that we can play with our green mana. It's about time. Empty our hand and start hoping for some good uh, top decking. We'll ping him for one. One and one poisonous. Let's see what they draw into. Okay. What are you hiding in your hand here? Goblin grenade, maybe? Feel like, uh... Feel like maybe they've got a goblin grenade. What are you paying for? Got him grenade. Called it. All right. Oh, they took out my sentinel. All right, that's fine. I don't really care about that. There could be a uh, plated was probably the best bet there. I think they are empty-handed, and we drew a planes. We're just gonna hold that in our hand. Uh, we'll go ahead and attack in here. sense in playing the planes now we can just uh, pretend like we have a vines of ass wood or some kind of protection or trick up our sleeve all right another conscripts you know attack in here Lord would be nice now they are getting bold they're getting bold Winding way or Lord, please. Lord, good. The attacks continue. Get him up to 5 poisonous and 13 life. What'd you pull into? Still got... Burning Tree? Okay. Well, they're gonna be able to attack with Conscripts, but uh, extra mana isn't really gonna do them any good here. So... And if they attack in, I mean, we can attack into the burning tree, no problem. If they attack in with both. Yes, yes. Come on, this is on you. These are your triggers. Proceed. Come on. All 
Alright, I don't know what they're doing. Maybe they don't realize it. It happens. There we go. Yes, I will allow it. Yes, I will allow it. Do nothing with your mana. Will you take the opportunity to attack in? Nope. Alright. Sentinel's not the worst thing in the world. They're on the back foot here, so I'm fine if they want to try to double block something, so I am going to attack in. I think I just need to keep the pressure here. They may even double block our Viverlint if they're getting really scared of that poisonous. But I'm okay with this. Double? Double. It's fine. Bring them up to seven poisonous. As long as they don't draw removal here, I think we're in pretty good shape. If they draw removal and can take out our lord, then we're on the back foot again a little bit. Alright, just a familiar. Okay. Probably won't attack in here again. Plated. Not bad. And we're going to still keep this pressure on. They'll double block our Lord again, uh, probably. But again, it's like we're so close to the Poisonous that I want to push through. And if they're really getting worried about it, they can start blocking other things and they'll lose creatures. We'll take out the Jackal if they double block this and you will put all the damage on the Jackal. No one cares about the Burning Tree right now. Doesn't do anything but sit there at this point. All right, they're going for the poisonous. They're sick and tired of it. There we go. Get two more poisonous. We've got them at nine. So if we draw another poisonous, we just basically win unless they can do something crazy. Let's see what they got here. We're out of range of lightning bolt, which is nice. We we got the lords and the two plated. Feeling pretty good about the position. All right, we win. Cool. Couldn't do anything else. Let's see. Uh, oh, we would have got vines. All right, so that would have wrapped the game up no matter what. So. Cool. Vines, forest. There's our other forest. There's our Viverlint. A couple turns away, but we had it. So, good game to the goblins. Uh, they didn't really pop off like they should have been, uh, unfortunately, but we really were keeping good pressure on them. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed that matchup. Stay tuned for more slivers, and uh, subscribe for more content. We've got the Brawlhalla and the Call of Duty, as you guys know. Uh, Call of Duty we got uh, tomorrow, and we've got some booster cracking on Sunday, so stay tuned, and we will see you guys in the next video.